Whenever I walk around, I get impulses to eat something. The station, airport, city, car. Everywhere I go nowadays, they try to trick me into eating food. And this made me curious. What's it like to be hungry? To not just shovel everything in my mouth. Now recently, I heard about a juice reboot. The concept is, you don't eat for a while, but only drink juices. And this has some interesting benefits, but it also means none of this stuff. Just fruits and vegetables. Well, the juiced version of them. No, no, not even smoothies are allowed. Purely juices. This means even without the pulp. And we got interested and decided to give it a try. For one full month. First, you get a lot of fruits and vegetables and start producing. The first couple of days you feel horrible, non-stop hunger, headache and zero energy. The dinners are less fun and that constant sour vegetable flavor is killing. But after a week or so your body adapts and it gets better. <laughs> now there's always a reason why you shouldn't start juicing this month. Mine was a trip from Amsterdam to San Francisco to Singapore and back. But in the end you just have to go for it. So currently on my way to a 23 hour flight without food. But we found a way to get juices on board. And we smuggled some extra fuel along the way. Yay! Transformed the hotel into a juice bar. Tried lots of weird local fruits. And were always on the hunt finding places where we could drink something. and just finish it. And then finally that moment comes. Eating again after a whole month. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> I waited for a while making this video. I wanted to make sure I wasn't caught up in the moment since it was an intense month. By far the, the longest month I ever had. At some points you feel horrible, you really want to eat something. And at other points you're very okay and energetic and it's alright. There are different reasons to start something like this. Some people do it for their health or to lose weight. I was very interested in just saying no to food. You, you, well, you basically always have to say no at the family dinner or in the plane or at the station or everywhere you walk you cannot eat. And this develops some sort of discipline to just not always eat whenever you feel like it. And I think that's a very valuable lesson for just one month of your entire life. Yes. Yeah. Yes.